What's going on guys? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Policies here. And today I wanted to talk about all these fraudulent doctors that are coming out saying that Hillary Clinton has Parkinson's disease or dementia or some major neurological disorder. Um, a lot of these doctors are, are not even really doctors. Um, they're fraudulent. They haven't produced any documents saying they're doctors. Uh, a lot of them are just making stuff up to get media attention, to get famous on YouTube, and to get views from people that are really just trying to make a conspiracy theory seem real that Hillary Clinton for, is super sick and she's going to die soon and there's one there's two pacific doctors i really want to talk about the first one is ted noel um ted noel has been on the new news network a few other these really conservative uh right-winged conspiracy theory based um news shows on youtube such as the alex jones show infowars all those uh, crazy frosters that make things up and just try to show that uh, that the, that the, the the Democrats are these crazy um, mad people but Ted Noel has really been pushing it recently um, he's come out with four or five videos um, pretty much saying uh, that Hillary Clinton has Parkinson's disease and he tries to make evidence of saying that he comes to the conclusion based off very little evidence based off little small antidotes he has seen on TV that she has Parkinson's disease. Um, first of all, I want to say that Ted Noel is not a doctor. Um, he has not produced any documents saying he's a doctor. Um, there is no records of him being a doctor. Um, and, and, and for him to get this type of publicity to me is mad. It's like there's a whole bunch of trolls on the internet looking for somebody to give credibility to this. But let's go ahead and get into what he says. Um, and you can check his video out um, to, to just to see what you think. is. It's called Web Tech. Vizista. I don't know what that means. Um, but he has this video out called Hillary Clinton's Parkinson's uh, How to Prove Me Wrong. And pretty much in the video, he says that um, the, her head bobs um, that, that you've seen on TV, her moving her head back, um, how she forgot how t what she was saying one time, and, and how she got pneumonia and got sick, is all evidence and he, that she has Parkinson's disease. It, he comes down to this conclusion based on those 10 seconds of seeing her that she has Parkinson's disease. First of all, if he was a medical doctor, he would know that is not enough evidence to demonstrate and to prove that she has Parkinson's disease. Um, first of all, he, he talks about her head bopping, which is absolutely ridiculous. She's done that twice, each being two seconds long, um, one being at the Democratic convention when she moved the head back, and the second, I think, when she's getting interviewed by these reporters. They were each two seconds long. They were not many seizures at all. Uh, you've seen what seizures look like on YouTube. If not, go ahead and look them up. She was not having a mini seizure, no type of seizure at all. She was just shocked. She got a crazy question at the reporter by the reporter, and she was shocked. At the Democratic convention, the, the, the balloons fell, and she's like, wow. I mean, haven't you walked into a, a, a surprise party and your head bobbles back? Like, wow. Or you get like a really weird question, and you're like, wow. Does that mean you have Parkinson's disease? It's, it's mad. Now, Ted Knoll bases his conclusion that she has Parkinson's disease based on each of those two-second reactions. He said that's enough to come down to that conclusion, which is ridiculous. She gave an hour and 10 minute long speech at the Democratic convention fluently. Every day she's on a campaign trail, hitting it hard, giving great speeches. Um, if she had this uh, deep level dementia or, the, or this Parkinson's disease, there's no way at all she would be able to do this. There's just no way. Um, so out of the, he's saying out of the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of Hillary Clinton giving speeches, Hillary Clinton on a campaign trail, um, those 10 seconds is enough evidence to say she has Parkinson's disease, which is ridiculous. And if he is a medical doctor, which he claims he is, he knows that's fraudulent and he knows that's wrong and he knows he's lying, just straight up lying. Um, if you see your friend bob his head back for two seconds, are you going to say, dude? Dude, you have Parkinson's disease. Oh, if your friend forgets what he's saying for maybe one second, and you, you've you known him for years, and this is the first time it's happening, you say, dude, I think you have dementia. Of course not. Of course not. This guy is basing his whole conclusion on that. And then he goes on to say, he goes on this crazy rampage, this about how she, how she, there's no way she has pneumonia and that it must be dementia based on the fact she stumbled. 
what she has is walking pneumonia or walking flu. I'm sure you've had it. Uh, when, when you wake up, you feel like crap. You can barely walk. You stumble. That's happened to me before. It's probably happened to you, too, if you're an average human being when you were younger. She's been campaigning every day for the last two years. Yes, she's taken a few days off. Who doesn't, right? But she's been campaigning every day for two years, right? Um, and she got sick. It finally hit her hard. Her campaign did a bad job covering it up. They should have been more honest and say, hey, Hillary's sick. She needs to take some time off. And that would have been that would have been it. But the conspiracy theories are coming out because her campaign has been lying. And they, they haven't been transparent like they should be. Um, but I could see why. Because Hillary Clinton has been hit so hard. Uh, people have called her a killer, called her a murderer. They call her this freak. Um, they call her this evil woman because they do not want to see her in office. Because she's going to go against a lot of their ideals. She's going to pass... Uh, uh, more extensive health care. She's going to uh, pass more extensive health care for children. She's going to upgrade Social Security. Um, she's going to increase unemployment benefits to help people out there struggling. And sh they do not like to hear that, right? They think that um, increasing government is bad. And that's fine. If, if that's fine. They think that. But to attack her and say that she has Parkinson's disease just because she bobbled her head or stumbled into her car is absolutely ridiculous. This idiot, Ted Knoll, this stupid idiot, this moron, also says because she's wearing glasses, she must have Parkinson's disease. So every time you see somebody wearing blue glasses, is the first thing you think that, she has, that that person has Parkinson's disease? Absolutely not. I see people walk around with black glasses, pink glasses, Kanye West glasses all the time. I don't think they have dementia or Parkinson's disease disease this guy ted Knoll, is fraudulent he's a liar and he bases his conclusion that she has parkinson's disease based off literally six to seven seconds of media footage and not the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of her giving speeches all over the world all over the so country as we've just seen that ted Knoll is just a big fraud um he he has made conclusions that hillary clinton has parkinson's disease based off literally um six to seven seconds tops of her bobbing her head back and and her catching pneumonia and her looking weird at the democratic convention because the balloons fell um if you're a reasonable person you would have to say that is crazy right because you got to keep in mind she's there are thousands upon thousands of hours of her speaking if she was bobbing her head back every single second and she was having seizures on stage um that that i, I could understand that but you got to keep in mind that um, Clinton was at the debates, right, for three hours, right? Um, she had no type of reaction. Um, she gives speeches every day, no type of reaction. Yes, she has a cough. She's been catching pneumonia. She's getting sick. Everybody gets sick. Do you not get sick? And if somebody does get sick, does that does that mean they have some Parkinson's disease or dementia? It's crazy how the, um, people like Alex Jones, Infowars, and and even this this idiot progressive named uh, Jimmy Dore, he's been out there uh, really slamming Hillary hard, saying she's anti-progressive. I'm going to get on him a little bit later, saying that based off these few seconds that she is a, uh, a terrible person. It's ridiculous. So now let's go ahead and talk about this other doctor, um, or she claims to be a doctor, which she's not. She's a fraud, um, named uh, C. Irvana, and she came out with this video called Hillary Clinton has one year to live, says medical school professor. And if you look at her profile, uh, she claims to be a professor at a medical school. She won't name that school. Uh, she claims to have taught at three institutions. She won't name any of them. And she said she won't name them because Hillary's going to come kill her. And then she referred us to go check out something called the Clinton body count, which is pretty much all conspiracy theories that the Clintons have been killing people for years, although there's zero evidence at all. Zero at all. It's just pretty much somebody died. They knew Bill a little bit, so Bill must to kill them that's what it's about it's really insane and it's so obvious that she isn't a doctor at all what kind of doctor if you wa actually watch the video what kind of doctor uses these crazy sounds and like 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 she's some killer like some horror music in the background and use these types of pictures and, and the production is really shitty too not like my productions really it's not good at all but what doctor has the time to sit down after she's been teaching all these kids and all these people and also helping out patients to sit down and make this video she doesn't even sound like a doctor because she's also basing all her evidence off fake documents that she knows are fake she's basing everything uh just like ted Knoll off a few seconds of the media and she's just fraudulent another thing is if you actually look at her videos her videos do not appear like a doctor made him at all. I mean, just look at these titles. Hillary Clinton has one year to live, says medical school. Unrevealing the great apostasy. Um, Pope Francis to proclaim Lucifer as God of one world. Look at these videos. Plan world depopulation event on August 14th, 2016. Obviously, that didn't happen now, right? 
Yeah, Pokemon Go 666 Link to the CERN. Look at the names of these videos. Time's up, Obama thir uh, third term FEMA 2016 martial law. Do you really think that an intelligent medical professor at any school, any medical school, would make crazy uh, conspiracy theory based videos like this? She is not a medical doctor. Um, th this She doesn't even sound like a medical doctor. The video she's making is like a high school kid made them. Um, she is a complete fraud. She's a liar. Um, these videos are insane. They're complete garbage based off absolutely no evidence at all. But for some reason, these trolls just love to just jump on this stuff and feed it to their friends. And they all laugh together and they all joke together. And I don't think they really believe it's it insane. either. Um, so she pretty much goes on and her whole video is based off these documents that Hillary Clinton's doctor apparently filled out. Um, and it, apparently she claims that this nurse or somebody within uh, Hillary's doctor, Lisa, took a picture of Hillary Clinton's documents and posted on the internet saying that Hillary Clinton has dementia and she's going to die in one year. First of all, if you look at these documents, these documents are ridiculous. And they could have been made up by a teenager, a 15-year-old in school. You could just go on the internet and type in uh, uh, a dementia, pa uh, dementia uh, uh, diagnosis. And you can see these documents and copy and paste, put Hillary's number on there, uh, put Hillary's name on there, cross out the... Uh, uh, Social Security and say, hey, Hillary has dementia. She bases her whole theory on this, which is completely ridiculous. These papers could be made up anywhere, and she's saying that, oh, Hillary Clinton's doctor, uh, somebody in the, uh, somebody in Hillary Clinton's office, uh, Hillary Clinton's doctor's office took some pictures of Hillary's documents and posted it, and you could see she has one year to live. Completely ridiculous. Literally outrageous. These documents could be made up by you right now. The guy listening to this, the woman listening to this, you could go on the internet right now, make up some documents that appear to be like they were from a doctor, post on the internet and say, I just robbed Hillary Clinton doctor's office, took these uh, took these papers, and, and I'm putting them on the internet. Check them out. Check them out. Does that mean that you're telling the truth? Probably not. Um, the second evidence she gives is this doctor named Drew Pinsky. Um, was recently fired because he came out saying that Hillary Clinton might have deeper health issues. He should get fired for that. She said that Clinton got him fired. That's not the case at all. I don't think Clinton cares. Clinton is probably very aware, and so is her team, that there's people all over YouTube um, going off on her. Has Alex Jones been killed yet? No. And he's been preaching that Hillary Clinton is sick for months, and so have thousands of other people. Drew Pinsky was fired because... He is considered to be a professional doctor, a good doctor, and then he went ahead and said that she might have some uh, uh, mental health issues. First of all, Hillary Clinton is not Drew Pinsky's uh, 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 patient. He, he, he's, never, they, they, he's never examined her. He's, he hasn't been following her. Um, he doesn't really know her. And a doctor knows that they cannot make a diagnosis or give those type of claims without actually studying the patient, being around them, and actually examining them, right? Drew Pinsky went on stage and lied about her being sick. And this lady saying, oh, Hillary Clinton got him fired, which she presents no evidence for that at all. Not at all. So it's really a shame um, that these people are coming out claiming to be doctors. Uh, this lady, Sirvana, um, has presented no evidence that she's a doctor, presented no evidence uh, at all that Drew Pinsky was fired by Hillary Clinton. Uh, she presented no evidence that the document she's showing is real. And Ted Knoll is basing all his theories off pretty much um, uh, six to seven seconds uh, in the media of Hillary Clinton just kind of acting weird, which isn't fair at all because they don't talk about uh, Donald Trump's health one slight bit. Not one bit at all. They don't talk about how he gets on stage and just straight up lies. Um, they don't say, you know, maybe he's a pathological liar. Maybe he can't. Maybe he can't remember things because at the recent um, at the recent uh, commander in chief form, uh, Donald Trump said he didn't support the Iraq War. But there's evidence on the Howard Stern show that he did. Did maybe he just lied, or maybe he truly forgot? Maybe some people should do an analysis on his brain, right? I mean, it's just, it's absolutely unbelievable how they're going after Hillary Clinton's health off just a few seconds based in the media. These people should be ashamed of themselves. People should take them seriously. And people should move on and talk about the issues. Talk about how we're going to fight ISIS. Talk about the different policies between uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton on health care, social security, domestic issues, the foreign policy issues, how they're going to transform this economy, how they're going to get people jobs. That's what we should be talking about. Not these crazy conspiracy theories that are based off just a few seconds in the news. So... I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, together, we de we debunked these idiots, these fake doctors, these these frauds. 
Um, and if you guys see anything else like this, please send it to me. Um, go ahead and email it to me or leave it in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys again soon. And I wish you all a happy and healthy day.